Hi, I'm Betty, and last year I moved to the Lake District. I've always been at my happiest exploring in the great outdoors, and can usually be found hiking, paddling or swimming, here or further afield. Join me each week for a new adventure, click subscribe and come wandering with me. This week I have crossed the Cumbrian borders and headed to Scotland to catch the ferry to the Isle of Arran. Often referred to as Scotland in miniature, the Isle of Arran hosts impressive mountains, rugged beaches and the odd midgy. I'm here with my lovely friend Katie who has invited me along to travel with her in her van Remy. Originally converted from a school minibus, Remy has all the luxuries needed for van life. Join us as we explore our way around this beautiful isle. First day we decided to get up early and hit the trail, with our aim to summit the highest peak on the island and continue along the ridge line. A flash of blue! There's the top! <laughs> Oh yeah! You can now see the footpath. We've come up all the way down. We made it to the top of Goat Fell, which is officially the highest point on the Isle of Arran. And we thought that we would be in cloud the whole way, and we've got this beautiful view opening up. It's stunning. Katie, what's, what metre is Goat Fell? Um, 800 and a bit. 800 and a bit. <laughs> we'll take that. Eight, <laughs> it's a core bit. 800 and a bit. It could be Corbetti. It could be Corbetti, yes. <laughs> I'll be Corbetti on the Corbett. <laughs> One thing you do notice is just how quickly the weather changes. So we started in sunshine and now we've got this again at the top. and then hopefully it will blow back over because when it does, the view is incredible. Washing line, <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, right. Practice for my mountain. Got the witch's step in the back. Step in the back. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not actually marked the map. Oh. <laughs> but you should be able to work it out. Okay. What's it called? Simora? Simora? <laughs> <laughs> Kirvor. Kirvor. 
Yeah, you were close. I or at right. least, I mean, the Walk Highlands man went, Kirvor. 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 I got the right, the right one. You did, you did very well. <laughs> you located us very well. Down, down with your hands. <laughs> yeah! You're so tall and mighty! <laughs> so we've just um, descended down into Glen Rosa from. And um, we've done Goatfell and Kirvor. Kirvor. And we've walked back down Glen Rosa. Excellent. And the wind has now dropped down, which is really nice because it was getting quite windy at the top. I think, what was it meant to get up to this afternoon? The it was gale. A force, force five to seven. So. Right. Windy. So we decided that we would um, make the most of the morning and enjoy coming back down this afternoon um, when hopefully it's a bit uh, nicer down at the bottom than it is at the top. <laughs> Morning folks, uh, we're up again bright and early, we're going to go and explore the castle and there's also a really good looking sandwich shop down the road which I'm going to go and get some breakfast at. I think they do like a really nice smoked salmon cream cheesy sandwich which looks delicious so I'm going to go and treat myself. Um, as you can see I've got my woolly hat on, I've been sleeping with my woolly hat um, and so I've been keeping a lot warmer than when I was camping the other week. I've learnt my lesson, <laughs> bring it everywhere, any time of the year. Uh, and so, yeah, better night's sleep last night, which was good. I think the plan today is to head down the Wild West Coast, uh, explore the coastline, maybe take some walks up into the hills on this side. at the bottom um, of the track to the lock, uh, nice little lay-by and then uh, we're just walking up in case she's decided she wants to run so I've just decided I'll amble up behind her, oh it's windy, and uh, carry anything that she needs in case she gets cold.
Katie kindly let me in from the cold, the rain, and we then decided that we'd hibernate for the afternoon with fish and chips and ice cream, before heading to Seal Shore Camping on the south coast of the island for the night. We got a beautiful pitch right by the shoreside so we could look out over the beach. Unfortunately, the microphone didn't take too kindly to the morning swim, so I shall um, now narrate the morning breakfast. This was my porridge topper, which tastes far better than it looks, I promise. And then I might have teased Katie a little bit for putting curry powder in her porridge instead of cinnamon. She gallantly ate it anyway. After our hearty breakfast, we packed up the van and headed towards the east coast of the island to a bay called Nam Lash where we cracked out the paddleboard, pumped up, and headed out for a team paddle. Well, I say team. I just get to sit here as she, look at this for a service. This is wonderful. And we're going to the island, yeah, Katie, that way? That way, no, no? We then had time in the morning for one last adventure. Eaten by <laughs> <laughs> midges, the full Scottish experience. There was a massacre. <laughs> there was a massacre. Um, there was no wind, so we were like, oh, beautiful, and then we forgot because we've had uh, such a mickey free trip yeah. so far. But it was a beautiful swimming spot, so we were glad to have got up early. And now it's time to hit the bar again. Yeah. And uh, hit that full English breakfast that I've been waiting for <laughs> days for. You've been waiting for it since you saw it on the ferry. <laughs> on the way I was like, I'll have that on the way back. <laughs> 